watch it! You're gargling your germs all over me! Don't be silly, Henry. Hey, worm! Just washing my hands, Henry, to get rid of the germs. <laughs> Not sure washing your hands will get rid of all the germs in here. Why don't you try it, Henry? I've heard it's as big as a javelin. <gasps> what is? The needle, of course. It's as long as my arm. Whoa. Says who? What did you say? I said the bigger the better. Double? Whoa. Yeah, cos you're so brave, Henry. Yes, I am. Brave enough to go and find out if I have to have an injection. Ha! <laughs> brave enough to go and get a sweet, more like. I really don't think I want an injection. No, I really don't think I want one. No need to worry, Andrew. No one got an injection yesterday. And everyone got a sweet. <laughs> That's a good thing, William. I know. Some people got more than one sweet. A total of 30 chocolate moon fizzlers and 55 orange thirsts were handed out. That's a lot of sweets. That's cool. Just got to get there before everyone else. Good morning, class. Good, Good morning, Miss Battleaxe. As you know, today it is our class's turn to visit the doctor. Now, I don't want any of you to worry. Brian, I believe you have some statistics on this. Oh, yes, Miss Battleaxe. Statistically, only 0.1% of the class will have to have an injection. Thank you, Brian. So, who's going to be the first to volunteer? I see. Well, then, off you go. <laughs> Everyone except Henry, that is. I understand you were late this morning, Henry. Um, yes, Miss Battleaxe. Because? I had to change my shirt, Miss Battleaxe. I see. You were late because you had to change your shirt. Yes, Miss Battleaxe. It wasn't my fault, Miss Battleaxe. Somehow, I don't believe you, Henry. So it was really the first time, but not the last time, if you get my drift. Oh, looks like old Moody's back in town. We'll have to make a run for it. Oh, goody! <laughs> no comment. No comment. Here, what can you tell us about her inside? I said no comment. What were you thinking, Henry? We don't talk to journalists. We? Yes, we. Us, famous people. <laughs> Speak for yourself. There you are, boys. Hurry up, it's tea time. Now then, who's for some crunchy carrot corn cakes? Oh, thank you, Mum. Don't be horrid, Henry. We're trying out the recipes from Peter's new cookbook. I do hope you don't mind, Henry. It's just a little old recipe I dreamt up. And you'll never guess what else our little pumpkin pooch has gone and done. Nope, I'll never guess what else your little pumpkin pooch has gone and done, Mum. Our little pumpkin pooch, Henry. He's only gone and bought I'm a Lady because he knows how much I love that shop. So now it's mine. All mine. Oi, Oi over, over here. here. Look, at Look at me. Who would have thought all those years ago when you got their autograph? Henry, where are you going? Back in a rolly bow. Oh, might have guessed you'd be hanging around. Just came to see what all the fuss is about. Yeah, what all the fuss is about. Susan, you're supposed to repeat after me, not after him. Yeah, after me, not after him. <laughs> Some things never change. Ralph? Henry, old chap, how are you? I'm good. Still, uh... Still at Ashton Primary, eh? Well, yes. So, what are you up to? <laughs> Quite a lot, actually. The sportswear brand me and Al launched. You and Al? Yeah, it's called 
what we're going to do now, and it's gone viral, Henry. Everyone loves it. Oh, I bet they do if you made it. Oh, thanks, Henry. And now somehow I've ended up promoting Margaret's latest idea. Which is... Moody by Margaret. Well, I say it's Margaret's latest idea. It isn't really. It's Susan's. Is that so? Oi, Ralph, over here, now! Sorry, Henry, gotta go. There's a little bit left. Maybe not. <sighs> we could always have a takeaway, Great Old Greta. Oh, Henrietta, that is a good idea. Yes! But we'll have to ask your mother when she gets home. Oh, right. And she'll want to know if you've been good. Of course she will, Great Aunt Greta. And we're going to be extra good this afternoon, aren't we, Henry? Oh, I guess. Can you believe it? I'm sitting here reading I'm a Lady magazine. Who wants to know about 50 ways to create a cushion cover? Or 99 things to do before you're 99? Woo! Look at this, Great Aunt Greta! How to create your own finger knitting project in 27 easy steps. Oh, I love a good finger knitting project. See what I mean? Look what I have found. What's that, Great Aunt Greta? How to be a good... Ooh, will you read it to me, Great Aunt Greta? Of course I will, Peter. It's called How to be a good... How to be a good what? Elephant? <laughs> Spider? <laughs> ah, kangaroo? <laughs> so there you go. Everything you need to make sure that you get your takeaway tonight. Huh? Oh, thank you, Great Aunt Greta. I'm just going to the little, uh, I mean, big boy's room. Hey, what about me? What do you mean, what about you? I need to know how to be good too. Uh-uh, Henry. That's for me to know and you to find out. What's that supposed to mean? Henry, leave the magazine alone. <laughs> Let's see. When Mother gets home, have a delicious meal ready. OK, well, we're having takeaway, so that's sorted. Clear away any clutter. Won't take long to clear my clutter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take a few minutes to freshen up. <laughs> yeah, right. Be happy to see her. Oh, I reckon there's time for a little nap before Mum gets home and I have to start being good. <laughs> Operation Planet of the Grapes worked! Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we can go and take a look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Go for it, Fang! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Henry! <laughs> Henry! What? Oh, you're here. Yep, reckon I am. What do you want? I want to thank you, Henry. Thank me? Why? You had faith in me! I did? Yes, you did! When I got my telescope for my birthday, you said I could discover a new planet with it! <laughs> oh, yes, I did! And you inspired me to call it the perfect Peter planet! I'm sure that's not what I said. Well, that's the name it will be known by forevermore! What do you mean? Oh, that'll be the press. We're going to be famous, Henry. The press? Famous? We? Yes! We'll be like Wilbur and Orville. Who? Wilbur and Orville Wright. They built the very first successful aeroplane. All the Marx Brothers. 
I'm pretty sure there were more than two of them. Hello! Heard about the new discovery? The most exciting thing to happen today. They're uh, holding the front page. Um, how about a press briefing first? You what? I mean, you want to know how brilliant Peter is before he shows you his discovery, right? OK, why not? Phew. Now all I've got to do is find another grape. Can you believe it? Normally we have grapes coming out of our ears. But now, when I need one, can I find a grape? OK, I know it's not green, but it will have to do. Fang! Fang! And I owe it all to my big brother. How did you spell his name again? H-E-N... <laughs> Fang! If you can hear me, do not eat this grape! Maybe he can read your mind. Mm, Margaret, is that you? Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Beetle bombs. Bogey brain. That was predictable. Yep, like you. Nope, not like me. Oh, come on, Henry. Every morning you wake up late, get dressed in the same top and have the same breakfast. Not today, clever clogs. Today I woke up early, stayed in my pyjamas and didn't have any breakfast. Predictable. Isn't. Is. Isn't, isn't, isn't. Ugh. Even this argument's predictable. Listen to us. Is, isn't, is, is, is. Yeah, I guess. So it's not too difficult for Peter to guess what you're going to do. So you don't think he's a mind reader then? Who knows? We could put him to the test. Mm. How? I'll tell you how. Whoa! What do you want? I've got a best boys meeting in two minutes. Make that one minute thirty seconds. What do you want, Peter? What do you really, really want? What do I want? What do I really, really want? I want Henry to feel my power. I want him to stop calling me worm, even if it's only for a day. And I want him to give me his gross class zero collectibles, because he never plays with them, but he still won't give them to me. Done. Done. Morning, Mom! Morning, Dad! Morning, Henry. Nice tutu, Henry. Pink tutu and horrid hat. Check. Walking backwards to breakfast. Check. Hey, How did you know I was going to do that? Peter wrote a list last night. What else is on his list, then? Mum asks Henry if he'll give Peter his gross class zero collectibles because he never plays with them. Henry says no. Right, that's it. I'll show him. There, you can have them. Not so good at reading my mind now, are you, Peter? Oh, no, I guess not, Henry. I thought this would be a good red. That's not red, that's pink. Well, what's a colour tone between friends? Yeah, I suppose you're right. And I thought this would be a good design. What is it? It's the official flag of the Red Roof Gang. The Red Roof Gang? Yeah. Wow! Yeah, well, you said you 
wanted your own gang. Well, yeah, I suppose I sort of did, but... No buts, Ralph. You've got to be a leader now. You're in charge. But who am I in charge of? Well, yourself, me, sometimes, Susan, sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. Oh, sorry, Susan. I didn't see you there. <laughs> Story of her life. See, I'm not really sure. Yes, you are sure, Ralph. You've never been so sure of anything in your life. Well, I guess. Remind me what I'm sure of again. That's a snot slimer. Yep. Where did you get that from? I made it. Yeah, I made it. Anyway, I thought we could have a go at making a fart slimer. A fart slimer? Uh, is that a good idea? Yes, it was your idea, Ralph. Was it? Of course it was. We're expecting visitors. What took you so long? Why don't you use the front door like everyone else? Oh, uh, right. Welcome to the Red Roof Gang, Henry. What's the Red Roof Gang when it's at home? Just the coolest new gang ever. <laughs> really? That's funny, cos the Purple Hand Gang is the coolest gang ever. Ha! Says who? Me and everyone else. Not everyone, Henry. Ralph? Meet the leader of the Red Roof Gang. Hello, Henry. to do it. This is progress, Henry. And anyway, don't you want to be rich? Well, yes, but... No pain, no gain, Henry. Well, that's the point. There's no pain at all. It's all too easy. Typical. You workers are never happy. This is where you get out. Oh, yes. Payday's Friday. Oh, yep, that figures. Workers of the world unite. You have nothing to lose but your dignity, Henry. on my phone. 
Oh, for goodness sake. Oh, sorry. Forgot to charge it. There must be light somewhere near the door. Oh, careful. careful. I found them. I'm going to make tea now, all right? Honestly, babysitters nowadays. Even rabid Rebecca used to make tea. Oh, mind you, I was never quite sure what was in her Halloween hot pot. Peel the potatoes, cook the potatoes, mash the potatoes, peel the carrots, cook the carrots, mash the carrots. Peter likes them mashed. Hm, well, that's not happening. Peel the beans, cook the beans, don't mash the beans. Peter doesn't like his beans mashed. What if I liked my beans mashed? Yeah, not likely. Peel the chicken, cook the chicken, mash the chicken. Oh, I'm going to be cooking all night at this rate. I don't know how mums do it. No potatoes, I ask you. Don't worry, you look lovely. I'm sure no one will notice. Oh, look, Miss Oddbod's office. We've been here before. Let's see if there's anyone in here who can help us. Easy, Tiddles, easy. Like child, like parent, eh, Tiddles? You'd think they'd know better. Hello? Anyone there? grateful that you came to find us, Mr. Soggington. We were completely lost. Yeah, it was just us and the evil goldfish. That's my Goldilocks you're talking about. Oh, I'm most terribly sorry. I, I didn't realise. I, uh, sorry. on the timetable. No, he's not. Then why do we go to see him? <clears throat> ah, Mr. Soggington. We didn't see you there. Uh, do sit down. Yeah, you look familiar. Have I seen you somewhere before? Yes. No. I thought so. I'm really, really sorry about what I said about your goldfish, uh, Goldilocks. Oh, don't you worry about that. She's forgotten all about it. Three-second memory, you see. Uh, uh, who did you say you are again? We're Peter's parents. Mm, nope, not one of mine. Well, we'll be off then. No, Henry, though. It was only the once, mine. Once was enough, mind. It was one of them music lessons, you know. The ones where everyone plays an instrument. When he said he played the flute, my little art soared. Only it turned out he didn't play the flute, that is. Well, thank you, Mr Sockington. Uh, we'll keep that in mind. Hello, Peter's mum and dad. I've been waiting for you. Mum and Dad are probably talking to Miss Lovely because there's so much she'll want to tell them. All about my good as gold stars and my turn on the story carpet and my wonderfully wise windows on the world project. And another thing about Henry is that we can never, ever get him to do his homework. Ah, well, you see... And Peter does his sometimes twice over just for the fun of it. Ah, yes, well, you see, Peter... But will Henry do his homework? No, he won't. No, he won't. He'll sit and do a gross class zero puzzle till the cows come home. You see, we don't mind Peter doing the number gnomes doubly difficult giant jigsaw... Because that's educational. ...and gross class zero isn't. All that farting and snot and... Yes, well, we don't want to bother Miss Lovely with all that. 
been lovely to see you both. Oh, uh, yes, thank you, Miss Lovely. Goodbye, Peter's mum and dad. Don't worry, we'll uh, see ourselves out. <laughs> Oh, you can't leave without trying our delicious school food. Oh, no, of course. Oh, mm, it's um, quite um, interesting. We're very proud of our stew, made fresh every week by our very own executive chief head chef. Something left over from the teacher's special supper last night. Yeah, the teacher's special supper. Oh, <laughs> you do make me laugh, you lot. You're not meant to know about the teacher's special supper, mind. Oh, no, we don't know anything about the teacher's special supper. It was a very special teacher's supper last night. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so, so much, Mrs Minus. Yeah, thanks. Close your mouth, Henry. It's not attractive. But what, Henry? What you observed there was the art of conversation. Come on, Henry. Even you must have learned something from that. Well, yes. I learned that the teachers have special suppers where they eat food that's not stew. <sighs> Let's try one more time, shall we? <laughs> Pay attention this time, Henry. All right, all right. No need to be such a beetle bonce. <clears throat> yes. No need to be a beetle bonce, you worried boy. Yes, Margaret. Please, sir, could we be the first in the queue for games today? Why, yes, Margaret, of course you can. And if we finish early, could we be the first to be let out? Yes, of course, Margaret. Please, sir, may I be let out early too? Well, I don't see why not. Please, sir, I would like to be let out early too. Oh, of course, Soraya. It would be my pleasure. So can we all leave early, Mr Soggington? You may, Margaret. Now run along and enjoy your day. Thank you, Mr Soggington. Your turn, Henry. Please, sir. No. Now off it, you worried boy. <coughs> bad luck, Henry. That wasn't bad luck. You only said yes because you're all girls. No, it's because she was being polite. We all were. Nah, it's because you're girls. Don't say it, Henry. Don't say what, Al? Don't say that everyone knows it's just because girls are no good at games, so they always ask to be let off anyway. You're right, Al. Everyone knows it's just because girls are no good at games, so they always ask to be let off anyway. You are so 20th century, Henry. 